the new Galaxy S5 versus the iPhone 5S. So what we're doing in this test is comparing like boot times, uh, opening some apps, like browsing the web. I uh, will do some benchmark tests, speed tests, stuff like that. I'm pretty much just going to compare the speed and performance of these two phones head to head. So both of these phones are off right now. So first thing we're going to do is a boot test. So I'm going to hit the power buttons on both of these phones at the same time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Give it a second, and let's see which one boots up the fastest. So they're both on the logo right now. Looks like the Galaxy S5 is doing something here. Still got the Apple logo. There's the little Samsung uh, start screen. Still waiting. And there we go. The Samsung Galaxy S5 is booted up, and I'm on my home screen, and we're still waiting on my iPhone 5S. Yes, I know the Galaxy S5, my battery cover. And there we go. There's the iPhone 5S. So there you go, there's a little test of the boot time. So for the next test, we're going to see how fast the camera loads up from the lock screen. Both have the little camera icon where you can swipe up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at the same time. And as you see, the, if you notice that the iPhone 5S camera got loaded up just a little bit faster uh, than the Galaxy S5 camera did, which can actually make a big difference. That little half a second there uh, could be a difference of snapping the picture or not snapping the picture if you're trying to get something uh, that's happening at the moment. I'm also going to take a picture here from the front-facing camera just to see how fast it does that. Three, two, one. And it looked like it was about the same time. I will go ahead and tap on the picture right there. And the iPhone loaded up just a little bit faster uh, than the Galaxy S5 did. Now to show you this is a fair test, I went ahead and force quit all the apps running in the background on both phones. And what I did was went ahead and made a page on both phones with all the icons and apps and stuff that I'm going to be opening uh, in this video. So here they are. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is gaming. Not necessarily gaming, but just how fast games open up and load on both of these phones. And the first one uh, that we're going to open up is Family Guy. So I'm going to try to tap on both of these at the exact same time. Hopefully it works out. Three two, one, and there we go, they're both loading up, looks like the iPhone is a little bit ahead, a good bit ahead actually, there's a game center loading up on it, and the Galaxy S5 is finally there, so the iPhone is asking me to go ahead and do stuff, and the Galaxy S5 is caught up with it now, so there we go, as you've seen, the Family Guy game actually loaded up a little bit faster uh, on the iPhone 5S, now remember, uh, this is a bigger screen, so it's going to have to push more pixels and stuff like that. So it is a little bit harder for the Galaxy S5, but just that's a demo of just how fast it opens up uh, with Family Guy game. Next up, we'll go ahead and open up for Ninja. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it looks like the Galaxy S5, when you actually tap on the icon to when the app opens up, uh, is a little bit delayed there, but it actually beat out the game once the app actually got open uh, to load up like the game menu and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and swipe to a uh, new game on both of these. There we go. Looks like it's about the same. Actually, it looked like the iPhone beat it out over there. We'll go ahead and start a new game. I'll just do Classic. And there we go. The iPhone is just a little bit faster. And for the last game, I'll go ahead and do Subway Surfers. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it looks like the, the Galaxy S5 did something weird there. Now that the iPhone 5 is already loading it up, and the Galaxy S5 is trying to catch up now. I'll go ahead and close that ad. And there we go. So as you've seen, the iPhone 5, I beat it out to opening up subway servers just by a few seconds. I go ahead and tap to play, see if it loads up faster that way. It looks like it's about the same. Uh, so there's not too much of a difference, just a little bit of uh, difference on load time. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, not big of a deal. Now we'll just app on both of these phones. Because uh, one thing I noticed on the Galaxy S5 is the gallery or the Photos app uh, is really slow at times. Uh, so I'm going to compare it to the Photos app on the iPhone 5S. Now taking into account these are two different photos. Uh, apps and they've all got different pictures and stuff in them. But this will just give you a little bit of an idea. So here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. As you've seen, the iPhone is just a little bit faster. I'll go ahead and tap on the camera on both of these phones and go ahead and actually tap on the picture I took a little bit earlier. So here we go. Three, two, one. And there you go. See, the iPhone 5S is just a little bit faster, uh, which to me does make a big difference. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is web browsing on both these phones. Now, I'm going to be actually using the Chrome app because that's what I like to use. Uh, and the iPhone's got the Safari app, and then the Galaxy S5 has its own browser. Uh, so that way it makes it a little bit more fair. And uh, that's just what I want to do. So here we go. Three, two, one. Go ahead and tap on both of those and load it up. Looks like the Galaxy S5 beat out the iPhone 5S to load up the browser there. And now, as you see, I've got these three little links. I'm going to try to tap on these at the exact same time I load up these web pages. So here we go. Three, two, one. 
and uh, looks like the iPhone 5S has finished loading. So as you see, it loaded on my tech YouTube channel. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap here, and I'm going to go ahead and request the desktop site. I uh, so that way it actually loads up the full site rather than just the mobile version. So here we go. Three, two, one. And it should load up on both of these phones. Uh, there we go. The iPhone 5S actually beat it out there. That's not done loading yet, but it's almost there. The iPhone or the Galaxy S5 is still trying to load. And I think it's pretty much done now. All right, I'm going to make a new tab and go back to the bookmarks. And we'll go ahead and try to load up the verge here. So here we go. Three, two, one. And it looks like the iPhone 5S uh, is done. And there's the Galaxy S5 trying to catch up. And there we go. Both pages are loaded. I loaded the mobile version of the site there. Uh, but there you go. Gives you a quick little idea of just how fast web browsing is. It seemed like most of the time the iPhone 5S was just a hair faster than the Galaxy S5. Now remember that doesn't mean the iPhone 5S is faster when it comes to loading stuff, uh, but we can actually test which one has the faster download speed. Now both of these phones are on Wi-Fi. I do have a SIM card in this one, uh, but they're connected to Wi-Fi right now. So what I'll do is open the speed test app. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to use my current location. I'll go ahead and hit OK there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin this test. And what it's going to do is it's going to test how fast uh, my internet speed is over Wi-Fi. Here we go. Three, two, one. And let's begin the test. Uh, just to see if they get the same speed. They're pretty much in the same location. Uh, there we go. It's getting about 32 down. My internet supposedly is uh, 30 down, 5 up. It can be better than that and a lot of times worse than that. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So it looks like the iPhone is getting only 2.8 down. Wow, that is a big difference right there. There we go, speeding up a little bit. Uh, looks like we got all the way up to 6 down compared to 33 down on Galaxy S5. That is a big difference. Now let's go ahead and do the up. So for the up on the iPhone 5S, which is already finished, I got 2.7. And on the Galaxy S5, I got almost right at 5. So as you see, uh, that's a pretty good comparison right there just to show you how much faster the downloads are Supposedly, according to this app, uh, on the Galaxy S5 compared to the iPhone 5S. That actually surprised me. I didn't expect that uh, speed test to be that much different. Now we're going to look at the benchmarks of both these phones uh, using the Geekbench 3 app. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. Now on this phone, it looks a bit different than it does on the iPhone 5S. Uh, but it pretty much does the exact same thing. So here we go. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Put tab to run the benchmarks. And we're going to let that finish. And we're going to see uh, what the scores are with the iPhone 5S head-to-head -head with the Galaxy S5. So the iPhone is done now. It's got a score, uh, the single core score of 1,411, and then the multi-core score is 2,572. The Galaxy S5, we're still waiting on. All right, a few seconds later, the Galaxy S5 is done. Now for the single core score, we've got 974. So as you see, the iPhone just whooped its butt there. Now when it comes to the multi-core score, the Galaxy S5 got 3,219. So uh, it beat it when it comes to the multi-core on um, the Galaxy S5. Now to warn you, I have heard that Samsung will like beef up these benchmark tests when you're running apps and stuff like that. I can make it seem like it performs better, uh, but that's just to give you a general idea. So there you go, there's my speed test of the Galaxy S5 versus the iPhone 5S. Hopefully this video gives you a good idea of just how much faster each one of these phones are and doing different types of things. Uh, now remember there is lots of variables to take into account uh, when you do a test like this. I try to make it as equal as possible uh, by clearing out all the apps, making sure none of them are running in the background, and clearing out all the settings, stuff like that. Uh, but that's the best I could do. Really, I can